Hey guys, it's AJ. Hope you're having a good day. This video is on how to make a signature for a forum. This is also for fusewalk.com. Now all you have to do is just, uh, after you download GIMP and install it, all you have to do is just click new. Now for the image size, I always end up going to inches. It starts off with pixels, but for inches, I start off with six for my width. And then for my height, I always have two inches. So after you create that and it loads, you can click a quick background. The background I usually click is black because it's clean and it's easy It's easy to uh, work with. After you do that, if you would like to add a picture in that kind of makes your signature its own, all you have to do is just click on your picture, drag it in, and then after you move it, you just have to go over to the select tool. You can move it, move layers, like I'll just move it over here. Then after that, if you want text, you just have to go over to the little A sign click on it and then you can change the color whatever you want to if it's on a black background I always end up changing it to white because it makes it look better but after you click on it type whatever you want like I will type fuse walk okay and there you go after you do that you can change the font and everything the font I usually use is uh, smudger because it looks cool and I just prefer it but then after you're done with that you can move it out around to wherever you want to and if you really want to make your signature a lot cooler, go over to filters. And you just have to kind of mess around with it to find what you like. But for myself, I like going down to render. I like using nature, then flame. And when you go over to flame, you can create different patterns that work with it. You can change the brightness and everything. And if you go over to edit, you can end up changing the actual shape of it. But that is how to create like a cool little background for it. You just click OK. You have to wait for it. And it comes up like that but it goes out for the entire thing. And if you want to add more text or any pictures, just drag it in and put it where you think to. Now to create an actual good signature takes a little bit of practice, but after you get used to it, all you have to do is just go to file, save as, and it's gonna come up as entitled. And if you try saving it, it'll try saving it as XCF. You just have to type in whatever you want, like um, Seawalk. So you have to put .jpg. And after you do that, it'll actually save to your pictures instead of just going as a file format. But that is how to create a quick signature with uh, GIMP 2. So I hope you guys like this video and I will see you in the next one.